T Hi, how are you? I am Valentino. Today we will be doing an Indian bridal makeup on a non-Indian. Within a world of so many different cultures emerging, today we are representing a non-Indian receiving Indian bridal style makeup. First we will be applying under the eye for our model today 102 of the concealer of Avis Cosmetics with our concealer brush. Taking a small amount of the product under the eye. This is to reduce dark circles under the eye, to give an even complexion, give a more mattified look. Now we have applied our concealer under the eye, we'll move to the next step of applying our foundation. Using our Avis foundation, color 217, and now we'll apply all over the face for all over application. This is for our bridal look. So we're gonna start with an even, all over coverage. Applying an even application over the forehead for our wedding look. We're doing brides, we can also apply a little bit of the foundation on the neck with an even application. Now using in the top left hand corner our yellow concealer. This is used to illuminate the eye. I'm going to apply the product. It's going to give a nice highlight and long wear for our bride. Now we'll be using our beauty blender for under the eyes to mattify the illumination of the cream yellow concealer. This is great for Photos and photography gives a great contrast between the foundation and the eyeshadow. Now using our lightest shade in our powder palette on the left hand side top corner, we will now apply under the eye to mattify the concealer. At this stage of the makeup application, now we will be using second from the left top right hand corner, our blush on the apples of the cheek. This just adds for flushness and depth to the cheekbones. Great for photography. In the top left hand corner, we now will be using our darkest shade for bronzer in the upper portion of the top of the cheekbone. This is going to add a nice contrast to the face. Now using our middle top palette, we will be applying all over face powder to mattify our look with the foundation. We want our bride to have a nice matte look. Long day wear that she will be experiencing. Just light strokes of our powder especially in the T-zone of the forehead. This is where a lot of our shines, in some cases, is first signs of oil, and so we just want to mattify it. Now 
Now guys, using our 202 of our concealer, we will be applying with the concealer brush on Now we're just using our concealer on the eyelid at this moment. Now we will be applying our Avis Cosmetic Eyeliner 109 to the eyelid. Minimal amount of product, just a smudge. And taking the back of our pencil just to smudge into the line to mattify or in the fold of the creases of the eye. This is going to be great before we apply our eyeshadow. And this color is going to go well with her dress. It's going to be an all day long wear eyeshadow for her wedding. Choosing second down, second over from the left, we now will choose a green textured eyeshadow to apply in the inner corner of the eye. We've chosen this color because it coincides with her jewelry. The eyeshadow has a little shimmer of glitter, gold color. Open up on it, taking our beauty blender to adhere the same product as before under the eye to eliminate any fallout. Now going to our third row, second over from the left, we now will be using a gray in the outer portion of the eye for a smoky look. Now using our lightest brown shade of our eyeshadow palette, third from the right, we now will be applying in the crease of the eye with our shadow brush. This is just to add a little warmth to the inner crease of the eye so our bride can have a little contrast within her shadow. She will be taking lots of photos. Now using our darkest shadow of our brow palette, second down on our right hand side, we now will be applying with our model today, we're doing an evening time bridal look, so we'll be taking a lighter color in the top of the brow bone. Third from the top corner, applying it just in the top of the eye brow. Now going back in with the same color as before in the inner portion of the eye, we want to apply it to blend in the color, intensify the green. Now it has oxidized on the eye, so this will be a nice contrast.
Now with our beauty blender, we want to have our model open her eye, clean up any fallout that may have occurred in our eyeshadow application. Color 303, we will now use light strokes on our model's eyebrow to give definition and depth to her eyeshadow. This is going to open up the eye. Now we will be applying our Avis Cosmetic Lashes with our Avis Cosmetic Eyelash Glue. This is just to give the eye a little flare for our model's eye. Now we have applied our eyelash to our model's eye. Now we have applied our eyelashes, now we will proceed to do our eyeliner. Now we are just going over on top with our green eyeshadow to blend in the colors from earlier. Now we have applied our lashes and the wing liner. We're now going to contour the nose with our eyebrow shadow palette. Using our farthest left hand corner of our eyeshadow with our eyeshadow brush. This just gives a slim effect to the nose. We're going to also take our middle shade of our powder with our finger and just run it down the nose as taking our powder brush. We want to just blend in the powder into the nose. Now choosing the lip color selection that will go along with her garment. For her wedding, we have chosen pink for the lip shade. This pink is second down on the right hand side, left hand corner. We just want to just add our pink to give a full look. I like this color, I like this pink, choice of color. 
because it goes with our garments. Now we are applying the lashes. We're doubling the lashes to get fullness. Now taking the lighter shade of our powder palette, just running our powder down the middle of the nose of our model. Now we are putting the lipstick from our lipstick palette. Now I'm applying mascara to our model's eye to finalize the look. For the inner portion of the eye, we'll be using our 209 eyeliner, the same eyeliner that we used to smudge on the top of the eyelid. 